wishful thinking won't make a body strong. But a $4 million health club will. The new Ballet Matrix Fitness Center in Willowdale. 46,000 square feet of facilities. Circuit training, swimming, saunas. Muscle in on the action now with a pre-opening membership. Join while the excitement is building at 43% off. Now at the new Ballet. We have big plans for your body. Warning. The following program depicts exercises which, depending upon your physical condition, may be hazardous to your health. You are therefore warned not to attempt any of these exercises without consulting your doctor. Even with such approval, each exercise should be done in moderation and should not be performed if tired or to the point of fatigue or pain. Do not overexert yourself. Aerobicize is a fun way to improve the quality of your life. Start gradually, simplify the movement if necessary, and try to do a little more each day. The thing to remember is be patient with yourself. Stay with the music and remember to breathe out. More oxygen increases your endurance. This is aerobicize number 26 for your thighs, waist, and calves. Begin in a ready position with legs wide apart, flat back, and hands on your ankles. Remember to breathe out.
You, uh, you, and you. Come on down. Everybody else. Ready? Here you go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One. I think we could use that as a promo for our USA's next I've year. I've seen her before on TV somewhere. Have you really? I think it's the American Gladiators alongside Tanya Knight there. She's Diamond, that's I believe. That's Diamond! Yep, that's her right there. I didn't recognize her with such few well, threads you... on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't recognize her without your clothes. Right. What you'll find is a lot of those people on the Gladiators are also competitive bodybuilders. Yeah, Tanya? Yeah, and it's nice to see them... Uh, take their bodybuilding career and get some kind of TV part or their TV part and get a bodybuilding career mm -hmm. out of it. So it's nice to go get two things from one. We're back at the Women's World Bodybuilding Championship in Las Vegas with an international field of top competition. The first entrant from, from Canada. Toronto, Canada, Number Lynn 10, Paris. Dr. Lynn Paris. Lynn has six titles to her credit, one of them being the Miss Arizona Classic. She's going to come out with a flare. Lynn is a fascinating woman, not only with the background in bodybuilding, but she is a doctor, a medical doctor, now doing a special residency in orthopedics and has a specific interest in sports medicine, which I'm sure helps her bodybuilding. be looking at Lynn's muscularity and her posing ability, but more important than that, they're looking at symmetry, making sure that her arms aren't a lot bigger than her legs. Lynn Paree, a Canadian now living in Arizona. Tremendous shoulder development. Interesting to note that Lynn is 32 years old. Now she has developed a lot of her muscularity just in the past year, hasn't she? She sure has, and she was a lot thinner last year. I think she's come a long way. chest development and she seems to be using her posing routine very well to show that. Part of what her technique is is she should try and display her strong points as best she can but generally the judges are pretty good at looking at everything I think. Well, that's the idea of a posing routine though so that the girl can use a little bit of her own talent to show you what she has. off a tremendous shoulder and arm development. You can see the muscles in her back are so big you can see them from the front. <laughs> Dr. Lynn Curie, first contestant in the Women's World Bodybuilding Championship. Thank you, Dr. Lynn. Lynn choreographed her routine so well. 
it felt like she was almost moving right with the music. Well, Lynn Perry was a large woman. Here is five foot five Candy Census from Pennsylvania. Candy is also Miss Eastern USA. And again, tremendous development. Now, we should point out that these routines take a great deal of physical effort. In fact, I was talking to Candy before the event, and she said that she can lose as much as four pounds just during the afternoon. And when you consider that they come into the event already down to what ought to be a perfect weight, that's a lot of loss. A lot of that is water weight, just from perspiring so much, but four pounds is a lot of weight on a 115-pound frame. This is a sport in which diet is so important. They diet very carefully coming down to the competition. And for some of them, the diet is so rigid that they emotionally become irritable and hard to deal with. And they all seem that they're just so happy when the event will be over. The diet does play a very important part, but it doesn't necessarily mean starvation. The girl will keep her carbohydrate and fat level low while keeping her protein intake high. And if anyone knows and understands diet well, Candy does. She's studying for her master's degree in nutrition and plans later on consulting bodybuilders in diet and training. In this emerging sport, there is a controversy that has developed, and that is, what do the judges actually want the woman bodybuilder to be? Do they want her to be feminine with a reasonable body, or are they looking for great musculature? The sport has split over the issue, and as yet, there's no real guideline. Candy may be a good one to start to set a precedent, though. You can see she's got a lot of muscle, but it certainly isn't masculine. A terrific performance by Candy Census. And Sports World will continue right after this. Sports World is back at the Women's World...
games. Paul's with her now. You're sitting down here watching it, obviously enjoying it. Why aren't you up there? Well, it's a hard thing for me to say, but I sustained an injury last month. And being within a month of the contest, it did actually prohibit me from being in my top shape. But as far as uh, competing, my heart was up there because that is my true love. And I would have loved to be there. All right, it, it really seems to be the, the big muscles versus a more feminine appearance. Where do you stand? I feel it should be a compromise in the middle. Not exactly a compromise, but a combination of both. Not the most muscular woman and not the most feminine woman, let's just say, as a beauty pageant. But it should be a combination of both. They should have the femininity, yet the muscularity. And I feel that's very important. Thank you, Lynn. So it's still some problems with the definition of women's bodybuilding. Next we have Corinne Machado Ching, 25 years old, from San Leandro, California. Western America and placed in the Olympia and the world in 1981. Again, here is a woman with tremendous shoulder and arm development. there is extremely good so she wears a bathing suit that's cut so you can see all of it women's bodybuilding has come a long way in the last few years a few years ago you might have heard some cat calls and whistles this is a very educated audience you won't hear anything like that here one of the things though that this audience is interested in is how the women come to this stage of physical development and within the sport I should first say it is not illegal, but some of the women are using steroids for their development. There are others that are adamantly against it, and it's a big controversy in women's bodybuilding at this point in time. Males have testosterone in their bodies. Females have estrogen. Testosterone is muscle building, and estrogen isn't, so a steroid is a male hormone to develop bigger muscles on women faster. And of course, the use of steroids, because it takes place months in advance, is almost impossible to detect. And that goes hand in hand with the fact that still the sport has... Morning. Well, today we're going to work on two or three different exercises, okay? And use them as a routine form. But at the same time, you got to really work them out. Not just floppy, but really try and do it properly, okay? Now, we start, first of all, in that position, okay? And then we bend both knees and the hands in that position and we go that way, okay? Pointing out the right foot and stretching it really out. Same as the left one. Now to the left. Same, okay? Stretch it out, both legs. Now we go, one, okay? And you contract a bit, okay? Just and go back. Come on, contract, forward, okay, now the next one we're going to do, we start in the same position, okay, and we first of all lounge to the right, okay, and then we turn into that position, bending both knees, okay, and then just move, just move, 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 okay. You go to the right side, move, move, okay, you got it, 
That's it. Now, again, move. That's it. Make sure you really roll. 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 Okay? One more. That's it. Just roll it. Okay. Now, the next one we're going to do, it's a bit similar to the first one we just did. Okay? Now, we go in the same position. Right. And then we bend both the right knee and the left arm. Opposite. Okay? And we go one, two. That's it. Just move. Move it. Uh-huh. And pull up. Keep moving. Okay. Now we try and do it again. The same thing. We start. That's it. Uh-huh. Move. Backwards. That's it. Uh-huh. The next one. You remember? Okay, we go lounge, pull, roll, 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 roll. The other side, come on, roll. That's it, roll. Okay, now, the last one again. Come on, okay. That's it, roll. Come on, move, 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 okay. Maybe that's all the time we got, but we're gonna work on something else next week. You have a wonderful weekend, and thanks for all the letters you've been writing. I love you all. Have a good weekend. Bye. I think his hips run on ball bearings, quite frankly. That's extraordinary, isn't, isn't it? it? Wonderful, thank you very much, Teddy.
unlock your body's potential, we proudly offer Soloflex. 24 old-fashioned iron pumping exercises, each correct in form and balance. All on a simple machine that fits in the corner of your home. For a free brochure, call anytime. Hi. I thought today we'll work on a couple of things, okay? Just straighten them out. A couple of routines and try to put them together, like we've normally been doing, all right? We start in that position, and then we move to the left two times and to the right twice, okay? So we go one, two. That's it. That's it. Move. That's it. Move your hip. Come on. That's it. With your arms now. That's it. OK. Now, the second one we're going to do, we're going to ball change with our feet, OK? And our arms are going to go in that position. All right? Both sides. So we start now. That's it. Come on. Stretch both your arms and your legs, okay? That's it. Okay, now the third one we're gonna do, we're gonna move, but we're gonna start in that position. And then we're gonna move the hip, both to the left and to the right, okay? We start that way. That's it. That's it, twist the body with it. And enjoy it, because it's all fun. That's it. Twist it. Okay, we do the whole thing through now. Okay. First of all, we're gonna start. That's it. That's it. Move. 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 Now the other one. Go on. That's it. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Right. Come on. All right. Come on. Move it. Again. That's it. Let it flow. Come on. Right. OK. Come on. OK. We'll end here. And I hope you have a very good week ahead of you. Work hard, play hard, and rest hard. OK? Lots of fun. Have a good week ahead. See you next week. Bye. Thank you very much indeed, Tony. I think, would this man make a good Marine, Sir Stuart? Do you think he'd be a good one? I don't one? know. I, do, I think it's terrific, yeah. He seems to have the right muscles, though, doesn't he?